Hey, what's up, guys? This is Malcolm, and you are on Malcolm Bushcraft and Survival. Thanks for visiting the channel. Right now, I'm going to do a um, sort of like a review on a knife that I hold near and dear. It's the Buck 110. Came in this beautiful leather sheath. And here it is. If you've been thinking about getting one, go ahead and do it. I have my laptop pulled up right here because I wanted to get all of the specs. And um, man, it's just a just a really beautiful knife. You open it up, you can see the size of it. First of all, it's a um, it's a very big knife. Um, it's a very sharp knife. It's the Buck One Ten. The blade is about three and three quarters uh, length, 420 HC steel. Extremely sharp. I like the way they have the the cut up going up this way. Um, the way that you close it, you press this down. I don't know the exact terminology for how that's closed, but yeah. So it's definitely not a one hand opening. Uh, it's not really a one hand opening tool. Nah, you're gonna have to use two. But it's so solid that you're not gonna have to worry about it. Th this doesn't fall into the category of like one hand opening tool. This thing been around for so long while everybody else is trying to be all cute and make things perfect. No, Buck 110 kept it old school and um, I love it. I'm going to give you a few of the other specs. Yes, it is razor sharp. I actually brought um, some paracord and I have it wrapped around a piece of fat wood. And for those of you who don't know, fat wood is just um, wood that's been infused with uh, pine resin. And you can get this at like Lowe's or Home Depot. I think it was, it was like $6.99. I got a box of of these for $6.99. It was like a box of like a hundred sticks like this. <laughs> I mean, it's incredible. You know, um, it's incredible the usefulness of something like this to start a fire and how cheap it is that you can, you can buy it. But it's extremely difficult if you're out and you're trying to find something like this in the woods. But anyway, um, let's go ahead and cut this piece of paracord. Shouldn't be much to this. Considering how sharp this blade is, as you can see, cut it very clean. I um, also want to just kind of show you what the blade is capable of in terms of, you know, getting some some feather sticks. Uh, you might not be able to really see that, but. You know, it's getting some really thin shavings on there. And of course, these are extremely flammable because this fat wood is infused with pine resin, which is, you know, very flammable. Um, so it does not have a 90 degree spine, but this part right here will still strike a ferro rod. Um, so it's not a 90 degree spine, but it's sharp. It's not sharp enough, sharp enough to really cut anything, but it's sharp enough to strike a ferro rod. And I kind of wonder if that was the intention of something like this. I'm not sure. But I try to keep it clean. I try to keep it oiled up. I love the finish on it. It's just a beautiful knife. Um, you know, these types of knives last generations, guys. So when you go and purchase one of these, what did I pay for this? I bought this back in August. So it's still relatively new. Well, very new. Um, how much did I pay for this thing? Okay, 64 bucks. Did I pay that much? I think it might have gone up in price. But yeah, right now this Buck 110 is about $64. You can get it shipped straight to your home from Amazon Prime. And um, it is a beaut. This leather sheath. This sheath, um, you're not going to find another 
you're not going to find another sheath of this quality that comes with the knife. That's going to be rare. The best you'll get is maybe a Kydex sheath with something like an Essie, an Essie knife. Um, but an Essie knife is going to run you 130, 140. That's like the cheapest knife. And their knives aren't foldable. All, you know, most of the Essie knives are going to be um, fixed blade knives. And I love fixed blade knives too, but you're not going to be able to carry it. Not really. You could, but it's going to print, you know, obviously much, much more. But anyway, guys, um, go out and get you a buck 110, man. Especially if you got kids. I have a son and uh, I got the buck 110. I'm going to end up giving it to him eventually i'm gonna keep it clean you know i'm gonna try to keep all of my my bushcraft stuff clean man i got so much stuff i want to show you guys it's gonna blow your mind but i do appreciate you watching the channel comment subscribe let me know what you want me to talk about next i'm gonna holler at you next time man peace